Now, our next graduates are from a course that has a fascinating statistic, and I love a statistic. See if you can guess what they studied. 83% of the graduates from this course are in employment, six months after graduating, and they're all in Ireland. Patrick and Antanas, welcome. What did you study in DKIT? What is that statistic from? Yeah, it's from computing and games development. Computing and games development. So tell me, uh, Patrick, when you were in Leave Insert, why did you decide on this course? Uh, well, um, while I was um, in secondary school, I actually attended a few open days here at DKIT. Really? And I was actually interested in the games development course. So through those open days, I could come here, find a bit more out about the course. And I, I think that's what kind of made up my mind. Yeah. Why DKIT? Amazing. And Antanas, the same question to you? Yeah, I was um, just back then. I used to be very interested in games as well. I was interested in how games are, be how games are developed. And um, I think at the time, like the course was pretty accessible as well from CAO with the points required. And... Um, Basically, there, there wasn't that many colleges as well that provided this course, and it sounded very interesting from the time. And um, basically, I I lived pretty close to the Dundalk IT as well. So, Leo, where are you from? Yeah, I lived in Drada. Lived in Drada. Yeah. So, basically, like the stars aligned. Like yeah, of course. And Patrick, where are you from? Yeah, I'm actually from Dundalk, so very accessible uh, to get here. Yeah, perfect. And is that why you wanted DKT? Is because you know it's so close, or was there another reason? Maybe the small class sizes and and you know, really nice campus, things like that. What was the, your reason for DKIT? Well, yeah, the, the main reason um, were probably, you know, it was very accessible. I was reading into the college itself. It, it sounded like a good environment to yeah. kind of study and a nice campus and everything. And tell me this, what's the goal? What's the, what's your dream job? Well, uh, I think my dream job would be, I think I'm quite happy in, in any sort of software development job, even if it isn't necessarily games. Yeah. I think I, I also enjoy just uh, computing in general, any editing technology related. Yeah. And what about you and Thomas? Yeah, well, I like to get into uh, the games industry myself, yeah. L work with a, maybe start my own games company or maybe uh, work with an existing games company. I worked in a company, a startup company called WorkEye. Okay. Yeah. And what, what did you do there? Well, um, I mostly worked on, um, basically, working on web websites and web applications. Cool and basically just improving their new website as they released. Uh, yeah. I got to experience some new technology such as AWS. As That's a different kind of software that creates games, I presume, is it? Yeah, it, it's a, a very different kind of process. But you know, once you uh, learn the principles of software development, they can also be applied the same to games. Yeah, amazing. Uh, and Tanis, tell us about your final year project. I hear it was quite intense. <laughs> oh yeah, for our final year project, yeah, we had to develop a a uh, 3D game. A 3D game. Yeah. Wow. So throughout the whole year, we j we had the whole year to develop a full game. And our game, it was a horror game set in an abandoned carnival where your the goal of the player was to solve different uh, puzzles inside this carnival to save their family members and then escape with their life. Okay. It's a fun, family friendly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And so it took you the full year to make, I presume? Oh, yeah. It How did. big of a team were you working on it? Um, it was a team of five, but then origi originally, and then it dropped to a team of four, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> Someone got too scared of the game, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> um, Patrick, you're now working in Kaseya as a software engineer, but you didn't study software development, which is interesting. How did that come on about? Uh, well, uh, once you study games development, you kind of learn a lot of the same principles that you would in software development. So that kind of gives you great scope. Let's say if, if you decide maybe game development is not for you, you can always work in like general software development because all the modules you learn is great scope kind of once you graduate. Um, you can go anywhere you want really. Yeah, very, very cool. And Antanas, you're a software developer with VHI. How easy was it for you to, to move into that career? It was actually pretty easy. Yeah, because you learn all the basics as you would with uh, just a regular computing course. Yes. So like all the different uh, programming languages, everything. You learn what you need to get into just a regular software job. So, yeah. And uh, with VHI, they have a graduate program, which made it a, a bit easier to get into as well. Okay. And one more question about your game that you made while here in DKIT. Did you ever upload it? Was it ever finished? Is uh, it on Steam? Uh, it's not on Steam, no. Because no. I think we would have to uh, get the license from college. Fair. That. Fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But it would, was it a success? Do you, would you play it? Oh yeah, I think it's, I think it was very successful. I think uh, we got some nice reactions out of that game from different people that played. 
Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, good. And did you have a final year project as well, Patrick? Yeah, I actually worked on the same project as him. Oh, the same project? Yeah. What was that? Okay, amazing. So tell me how much hour of gameplay in the, in the what was it called, first of all? It was a Carnival of Evil. Carnival of Evil, great name. Well, how, how much hour of, of gameplay was I last two And I think it was around, um, there was it kind of aiming for 10 minutes of gameplay. Okay. So it was a short enough pro a project, but really there's a lot in there. Oh, there's a lot in 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, Like you see these, you know, PlayStation games coming out that have eight hours of gameplay. They yeah. take years to make, so I'm with you. Um, listen, Patrick and Talis, thank you so much for coming in to me and, and, chatting, to, uh, and chatting to me about all that stuff. It sounds incredibly interesting um, and a really, really cool job to have. So thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, it was thank great to be here. Yeah, thanks.